Quite an overlooked aspect when launching a website is enabling the cookie banner. And a lot of people don't realize on Squarespace that you can actually edit what the cookie banner says. So you're not just limited, you know, if you want something specific in there, you're not just limited to the Squarespace template. So I'm gonna show you how to enable it, how to change the style of it, and how to edit the text that sits within it. So what we wanna do essentially is just head into our website dashboard and we're presented with this, which at the time of recording is the new Squarespace dashboard. So now instead of going into settings and cookies, what we wanna do is actually go into website and then we're gonna scroll past our main nav and not linked down into utilities. And in utilities, we have website tools. So we click this and then we're gonna see cookies and visitor data click this and then all we have to do is toggle this on and then we're presented with opt-in and opt-out if we look down here this just means do we show the user accept and decline or just accept i think based on like where you are in the world you may have to have both options i usually just go with both options and then in terms of styling we've got a pop-up which i usually prefer which is this and then bar which goes across the bottom we can then further customize this so we just hit save and then click customize so we can say we want it at the top or the bottom usually good practice is just to have it at the bottom then we can have let me move me we can have these as buttons or text so if we click this you can change these and then we can also actually change what these say so if you wanted to be really naughty you could have decline and accept. I have no idea why you'd want to do that, but you could say something like I'm in or no thanks, something like that. That would be more apt. Then we have the disclaimer text. So this is what is displayed here. Now you can add whatever you want. And then if you have a separate cookies page, you can actually link to this. So then if I say you agree to our use of cookies, we could say highlight this. Add a link and then forward slash cookies if that page existed. On the code examples website, it doesn't, but you'd click apply, save, and then whenever someone clicks, they can go, okay, I'll click this and I'll go to the cookies page. Obviously, it doesn't exist in this instance, but that would take the user to the cookies page and they still will be able to opt in or out because they've clicked through to the cookies page before accepting or declining the cookies. That is the most times I've ever said cookies in a row in my life. So I think that's everything. Just to recap, we want to go into website. So click website, then website tools, and then cookies and visitor data. Here is the simple toggle on or off. And then we go to a separate page to customize the cookie banner itself. So we can change the position. We can change whether it's light or dark, which I didn't actually touch on. We can change whether the buttons or whether they're buttons or text. We can change what each says, the disclaimer text, and we can link to a separate page if we wanted within that text. Hopefully this helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.